Good morning guys and welcome to Life of Pi, coming at you from Yangon. Second full day in Yangon and it's going to be a full day of exploring the city. There's a few massive pagodas to go to, uh, a Schwedigen pagoda is the biggest one which is somewhere that way in the city. You can actually see it from the rooftop of the hostel which I'm on right now. Fantastic views over the, uh, over the city as well. Hopefully you guys can kind of make that out. It's still a bit grey this morning, uh, but at least it's not raining as much as yesterday. Um, but let's get this day moving and uh, get out and go and see some of the pagodas and some of the city. Guys, so we're just on our way to our bus stop and we stumbled across this market street. Just thought we'd have a walk down there. It's pretty cool. Everyone's selling all the fresh fruit and veg. Amazing colours everywhere. Guys, so this is the Swedagan Pagoda, which is the biggest pagoda in Myanmar. Um, it is made of entirely solid gold. So uh, let's go and check it out. So guys, when you first get here, this is the main hall you come into. And there's just loads of little shops selling all kind of knickknacks. And I think as we walk through, we can start kind of climbing up the pagoda and stuff. So we paid the entrance fee, and we're now at the start of the kind of area where you can tour around the whole pagoda. 8,000 chet to get in, and then 3,000 to rent a cool little sarong, as you can see. Uh, so I rented a sarong so that I am covered up. And now we can start exploring the whole temple. So directly behind me is the Schwedigan Pagoda, and look at it, it is absolutely massive. Uh, 167 solid gold bricks were melted down and then plated over the pagoda. And there it is. It is gargantuan. Absolutely stunning. And as bright as gold as you'll ever see. The entire temple complex around the Schwedegar Pagoda is absolutely huge. There are loads of small stupas, little temples, and so much to see. And we've only done like a quarter of it so far. So let's keep exploring more, and I'll show you more of this incredible temple. up at the Schwedigan Pagoda, amazing to see. I thought it was just one pagoda, but it turns out there's like 20 different temples all in the complex. 8,000 chat to get in, and then you can rent a um, sarong for 3,000 chat and then you get that back. Uh, so it's pretty, fairly reasonably priced, about five, six pounds. We're now just at another pagoda directly across the road. Uh, so let's check this one out. So this pagoda is equally as impressive. It's not quite as huge, but it is still absolutely massive. I reckon it's 100 meters round in diameter. It's beautiful. So inside the pagoda is like a forest. There's loads of fake trees all around the wall with a small stupa and images of Buddha in the middle. And then the ceiling is adorned with loads of slightly odd paintings. So the next stop is Kapital Lake. So it's a really nice lake bang in the middle of Yangon and there's a big temple kind of sitting right behind me there uh, in the middle of the lake. Uh, and it's pretty cool to walk around. It is actually baking hot today. Considering yesterday was just solid rain, uh, today it's baking, but it's beautiful. Beautiful lake, beautiful temple, uh, really nice surroundings. So uh, somewhere a little bit more peaceful in Yangon, to kind of escape the hustle and bustle and, and get to this lake. And although the lake's a little bit green, you got the kind of temple over there, which is pretty cool. <laughs> So as you walk around the lake, there are these dodgy walkways that have just been ratcheted together and there's kind of holes everywhere. This plank that I'm on right now is moving. So just be careful when you're walking around the lake because the 
boarding is in pieces as you can see. So these are like the typical side street stands where you can get some decent food and we're going to go in and eat. It's a quick lunchtime stop. We've got ourselves some chicken curry, some soup and loads of little selections of spices that you can add to it. We finished up with lunch uh, and it was really good, really tasty lunch and it cost for the two of us 2,900 chet which is £2.50-ish, maybe even, actually it's less than £2 for two of us to eat two main meals, uh, we had tea with it as well and it was absolutely delicious. Uh, next stop is another pagoda. So the next pagoda that we were going to go to is Buddha's Sacred Hair Relic. It's actually five over five US dollars to get in and you can see most of it from the outside so I'm not going to bother paying the fee. Uh, my American pal Hunter has paid the fee and he's going in uh, but I'm cheap as you guys already know and uh, I've seen sort of three pagodas, well two pagodas already today. Um, so I'm going to have a wander around the streets and just have a look at the river and potentially get a couple of shots from the outside of the pagoda. <laughs> Check out all of these pigeons down by the river. I'm gonna start walking through them and see what happens. Ah, pigeons everywhere. Check out how many pigeons there are. They're just moving like a, parting like the Red Sea. I feel like Jesus right now. Hey pigeon, move. So just as I was walking around, I stumbled across this mirrored temple. And I think there's some kind of celebration going on at the moment, or prayer, as the gong's being hit and there's a few monks standing around. But check out the mirrored temple. All the ceilings mirrored, everything's reflective. So in almost every other street in Yangon, there are little markets. And they are beautiful markets to kind of just walk down and people watch. So there's all manner of fruit and veg. Uh, look at the colours in this place. You've got every fruit and veg that you could possibly imagine. And there's kind of fish and eggs and loads of potatoes and spices. It's really amazing just to walk around the city and kind of look at things. Right, so the next stop is St Mary's Cathedral. So this is a ginormous cathedral that I'm pretty sure we, the British, built. And it is monumental. So check out that building. It's a massive cathedral, bang in the centre of Yangon. And you can walk in free of charge, have a wander around, and that's exactly what I'm about to do. So there's actually a sermon going on at the moment. The building inside is absolutely stunning. It's built in, finished in 1899. Amazing. So the cathedral is really cool. It's a massive building. It's still in use as a Catholic church, and it was finished in 1899. So it's been around for about 120 years, and it survived a massive earthquake that hit Rangoon, which is the name that used to be Yangon in uh, the 1900s, and the Japanese invasion of Myanmar. So it's a pretty sturdy building, and it's absolutely beautiful to come and have a look at. Uh, it's about to start raining again, so uh, better hot foot back. Guys, check out the game of street football going on. So they just hung a net up on two pieces of uh, two sticks basically and then they kind of play volleyball with their feet it's really cool so that's it for today another epic day in Yangon exploring the Shwedagan pagoda this morning was pretty epic and that pagoda was massive absolutely amazing gold adorned absolutely beautiful uh, another full day in Yangon tomorrow before getting the night bus up to either Bagan or Mandalay I haven't decided yet but as soon as I decide, I'll let you know. One more day in Yangon tomorrow. Until then, give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Remember to hit subscribe. And until tomorrow, guys, peace out.